Winnebago Micro Mini, little 1700 bunkhouse here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, if, uh, if she comes in 3,040 pounds roughly, if you'd like to learn a little more about it, I leave you folks on YouTube a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. This is especially important on Winnebago models because the one that we have in stock, even if it's equipped the same, could be visibly drastically different than we see here due to the exterior color package and interior decor options that you have with Winnebago. Winnebago gives you seven different exterior skins. So if you don't like this gorgeous blueberry skin on here, it's my personal favorite. I like the reds and the platinums and stuff and the yellow's good looking too, but this blue, it speaks to me. I like it. Um, but uh, there's also different interior decors. If you want to see what we have in stock, our website can show you that. Uh, we keep price tags there to show you uh, what we're asking on each individual camper that we have in stock with its own individual equipment loadout because, you know, gear can change from one unit to the next. Um, this has been an extremely popular version of this floor plan. And understand, virtually everybody builds a floor plan almost identical to this. So why is the Winnebago one, despite not being the dollar cheaper option, uh, proving itself to be among, if not the most popular? And understand here at Halet RV, I have this floor plan in, let me see, EJ Flight. I have this floor plan in five different manufacturers, Winnebago included. This has proven among, if not the most popular of those. Why is that? That's what I want to hit on, the areas where this thing knocked it out of the park. Um, they're all going to be narrow body. This is a seven and a half wide um, coach, so it's easy towing. But where this one's going to be pretty unique is that it is on the NXG uh, bell chassis. That is an aircraft style huck bolted chassis. It is lighter and stronger than traditional I-beams. Um, it's not the cheap chassis option, but if you want a strong house, you start with a good foundation. And I think that that chassis is one of the main reasons that we don't see this camper in that service shop here at Halet RV. Now we do service everything we sell. I heard I, we've someone in uh, a dealership in Ohio recently. Uh, I'm not a. Uh, I'm proud to admit, lost a deal to us because they, they were trying to convince their customer, oh, they're just a wholesaler. You're just going to show up there and hook onto it, and they won't have even quality checked it. We go through three stages of quality checks at Halet RV before you take this thing home, before it touches your vehicle. We do everything We do everything here. Hitches, pieces, parts, financing, trades, etc. That's why we're putting these videos together. We're showing you more than just about anybody else so that you have a better understanding of what you're looking to invest your money into. Now, big front storage is uncommon in little campers. And what's even more uncommon is they made it a full pass-through. There are actual baggage doors on the other side there. Baggage door, singular, pardon me. But usually... Manufacturers who build a small model like this, they tuck a water tank or a water heater up here under the bed where you can't see it. That means that you can only get to the storage from this side. In the Winnebago version, you can get to it all the way through. That's your propane bottle cover, by the way. This, this comes with twin propane bottles, not a single tank. This has an automatic changeover regulator. Again, these are some of the little differences you'll see in the Winnebago here at Halitz versus the other small camper bunkhouse versions. This is uh, exceptional and absolutely unrivaled in its quality of fiberglass. There is no other manufacturer uh, making a camper like this with a true T60 gel coat on the outside. Uh, this is a diesel pusher gel coat skin. There's Phylon, there's high gloss, there's gel coated, then there's gel coat. This is two to three grades better on the exterior than basically anybody else. It's the only skin Winnebago uses. That's impressive. They're using diesel pusher level skins on this little bitty 17 foot camper. Again, not the cheapest option, but provides arguably, this is this is subjective, but the the most superior cosmetic appearance to it, but where it is absolutely 100% superior without question is the, the weather resistance. Because it has such a high reflectivity, it doesn't absorb a lot of UV rays. You don't get the rough chalking and stuff. It uh, it just looks better. And God forbid, neighbor kid Johnny throws a stick and scrapes the side. You can buff it out of a true gel coat. A Phylon, you're always going to know that was there. Um, we're going to take a, a quick peek over here. Some versions of this bunkhouse have a bunkhouse storage garage. Some do not. Again, that's why we carry different versions, because everyone has different things that they're looking for. So there's a big door here, and by the way, this door can deadbolt, so you don't have to worry. No one's going to like open the door and steal your child at night. I've had someone get real spooked by that. That You don't have that problem here. The, the main entry door and this door both deadbolt. This is literally just a small version of your main entry door. So here's another thing I like to point out. You start 
lifting up and looking under the guts of this, you see like real wood. You see real lumber. You know, we're looking at plywood gusseting. We're not looking at particle board stuff. You can see where everything is pocket screwed together. Everything in this is going to matter. So this, this can flip up, create a large storage garage in here where you can keep grills and bikes and everything else. And then it just flips down when you're ready to sleep the kids. I've got the door locked open. I don't want to forget that and yank on this and break that. Bang. Deadbolt it. Kids are safe. Little camper has big camper features, such as this ladder. You don't usually get roof ladders on little campers. Again, I could save you a couple bucks on another brand, but you're gonna start giving up stuff like that. This does have a full walk-on roof. This is fully aluminum skeletoned. We have um, plywood floor decking. We have a 3 8 walk-on roof deck. We have aluminum everything everywhere else. We have galvanized steel anti-blowout wheel wells down here. Um, and aluminum rims that are looking fantastic. Uh, so God forbid you, you catch a screw or something on the highway, you got a little protection layer right there. Outside TV hookups, black tank flush. Someone's gonna ask why the black tank is here. The flush rather, because this is the most direct route to the black tank to give you the most powerful flush possible. Why have a black tank flush if it's not going to work? You know, is, that, is this the ideal location for it? No, but this is, this is an item that has to function first. That's why it's here. Function first, fashion second. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fashion to be had here, but if you want that thing to actually work, it needs to be located there. Outside uh, grill hookup is a nice little touch. If you bring yourself a nice little portable grill, you can hook it right into the camper. Um, you know, you got your quick connect set right there. We also have front and rear stabilizers. A lot of little campers only have rear stabilizers. That's why I want to point out these little touches. Uh, we also have... A nice strutted entry door. So on a windy day like this, it doesn't go flying open. You see how it's taking its time so that it doesn't smash the awning arm. Now, if you pull it open manually, it won't take quite so long. That's fine. Power awning, by the way. That's another thing that this little camper has over a lot of the uh, other versions. And remember, I carry other versions of this. There's nothing wrong with not having some of these features. You know, you will save some money. You might save a little bit of weight. But if what you're looking for is the uh, everything camper, that's this one. This is the one with all of the things. Even an 18 gallon per hour gas and electric water heater. You don't normally get stuff like that in a little camper like this. Um, by the way, we do have LED awning lighting as well. I wanted to do a quick visual just to double check. I was pretty sure it was there, but I, I like to know and not think, you know? So immediately, you, you notice the different interior look of the Winnebago. That is probably, I think, one of their greatest weapons, the interior exterior cosmetics. Because like I said, there's 100 people that build this layout, but none of them look like this. This is a small camper that does not feel claustrophobic because we've got a light, bright, open, airy vis visual to it. And we've also got big window, big window, extra large window, a uh, little skylight type window in the door, cross breeze window in the kitchen. Windows and lights are extremely expensive in this business. This camper has more lights and more windows than any other version of it I've ever seen on the market. That is another area where you're getting a little bit more money in a Winnebago, but you're also getting a better, enjoyable camp experience. And these differences I'm talking about, guys, they might literally be six bucks on a payment. And if you want us to crunch a payment for you, give us a call. We only do everything at Halen RV. I wear that phrase out because good Lord, is it true. We only do everything. Um, don't care if you got a trade. Don't care where you're from. Give us a call. We put deals together. Extra overhead storage. This is an area some brands have started to scale back to save a little, little money. But storage is so critical. And remember, all of our cabinetry is all pocket screwed. It will hold together. Easy lift bed. I'm not even squeezing the handle. Just lifting. You've got double bed struts on here. The same bed struts they put on an 80 inch true queen massive big bed in their bigger units like a mini plus that we carry. You get here. Um, so this makes just for the easiest access to this full pass-through storage. And again, I can't stress enough, it's an actual pass-through, not just a underbelly storage. Um, flipping around, we will typically um, outfit these with the LED television, which goes right here. This specific camper in this video does include that. Unfortunately, um, our check-in and quality check team got to this camper before I got to it, so you don't get the visual of the TV. But you do get to see a couple neat things as a result. You get to see the heavy-duty mount that they have on here, and you actually get to see that they also run HDMI wiring. It's not just low definition, it's, it's all high-def setup. 
AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, only does everything, moving on. Great kitchen space and storage for a little camper. These are qualities that don't normally run together. Uh, I might uh, lose you on the batteries blinking at me. We'll see how much we get through here. Big countertop space, reasonably, comparatively speaking. I've seen bigger trailers that have zero prep space. This at least has a nice chunk right here. There are power outlets there. And you'll notice that we have little um, space back here for toasters, coffee makers, etc. We've got storage below the stove and sink as well. So you've got good space going on here. And this is kind of your do-it-all, either pantry, linens, Bathroom storage, a little bit of everything can go right here. That's your furnace, that's your electrical converter box. If you're if you're not familiar with what that thing is, if I was talking about this like a house, that's your uh, your um, you know circuit breaker panel effectively. Um, even a higher grade antenna here in the Winnebagos. That's what this guy is right here. That is the uh, King Jack antenna system. We have been offering that in the Haywood RV Parts and Service Department for years, and it provides longer range, higher quality reception, more channels basically, more channels with more clarity. That's a simple way to say it. We've been doing this aftermarket for years and now Winnebago's including it on the unit from the ground level at a small baby size camper. That's awesome. Like this window opens in a jealousy tilt open fashion so you can use it in the rain. That's awesome. All these windows have pleated shades, not metallic mini blinds. That's awesome. You know, they even strap down the table for transit so it doesn't jostle around and have the chance of even dinging anything. Nobody does that. Winnebago does that. Winnebago does that. You know, they could have made this, uh, they could have saved their, um, their, their builders some hassle by making this a right angle, but the radius is aesthetically pleasing and it prevents sharp corners from catching the kids in the shoulder and the cheek. Um, upper bunk here, 250 pound rated. If a kid can fit in this bunk, that is more than a sufficient rating. Now, also notice how they they have a, a heavy-duty um, door jam. You know, you can't pull on this. The door jam stays square because they build a heavy-duty door jam. And we have a full dry bath, not a wet bath. Where the wet bath is when the toilet is in the shower. And look at this. Not a tub. It is a shower. A real shower. Surround paneling. Everything. Skylight and power vent fan. Everything. All included in this little space. And it's all carpetless. It's all easy clean. Carpetless. Um, you know, you can sweep it up, swiffer out, move around out, rawhide. So give us a call. 800 256 5196. We're RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you like this layout, but you want to save a couple bucks and still get a nice camper. We got three or four versions of something like that too. Doesn't matter what you're looking for. We have it at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.